Jean Christophe, welcome to Watches TV. Uh, could you tell us about the beautiful timepiece that you have here? Hello, Elizabeth. All right, this timepiece is called uh, Blast Freewheel Marketry. And I believe that the beauty of the concept, you find it in, in the wording, in fact, free will. Uh, the principle is that all the wheels are floating. So we have removed all the bridges that hold normally uh, the wheels in a complication caliber. We have reduced the main plate to its minimum, and the wheels are floating mysteriously on top of a main plate that is decorated by a silicone marquetry. And the case is uh, quite exceptional as well. Yes, it's all about, uh, let's say, technical content and also design. I mean, uh, technically, technically speaking, it's a content escapement uh, flying tourbillon. Uh, but as you mentioned, the design also is quite spectacular because it is a, a, a case that is in a large part made of sapphire crystal that has been uh, milled. Uh, and uh, you can also uh, see the movement from the size of the case. The horns have been sculpted. So uh, it's, a, it's a very uh, modern combination, if I may say, of uh, new technologies for escapement, uh, a new way to display uh, the complication, and also uh, the architecture of the case uh, is bringing a very specific twist. What is the twist? <laughs> well, for me, the twist is the, is the speciality of Phyllis Narda. We are constantly reinventing ourselves, and uh, it's really the, the, I mean, the mission, the DNA of the brand. So here, the twist is that you have a constant escapement for, due to a flying encore that is a patented innovation. So this is a technical twist. Uh, the second twist is the fact that uh, uh, we have put the movement upside down. I mean, you see the wheels on the top, not on the back of the movement. And what you see with the marquetry, it's in fact the decoration of the movement itself. It's not a dial. The dial, you find it on the bottom of the watch. So this is also a twist. And uh, when the sapphire glass is holding most of the case in terms of volume, it is, uh, let's say, another twist. So in fact, uh, this is typically how we like to bring this specific know-how that we have at Ulysse Nardin uh, to bring, uh, let's say, uh, a spectacular uh, synthesis between uh, technical content and striking design. It is uh, indeed a new piece, a new timepiece uh, with a lot of innovations. Uh, does that mean that you're taking a step further from uh, the freak and uh, going to develop this time of uh, watches? Well, we, are, we carry four collections at Ulysse Nardin. Uh, we have the freak, uh, which is definitely the iconic timepiece, the flagship, uh, a revolution in itself. We have the blast, where we revisit the traditional knows of watchmaking in a modern way, the diver and the marine, because as you know, we come from the sea. And uh, what are the future, what, what kind of a future lies uh, in front of Ulysse Nardin uh, for the moment with uh, all the new timepieces and uh, the freak as uh, your iconic timepiece? Well, you will see in the, in the future uh, many uh, strong novelties inside the freak and the blast collection meaning the most contemporary part uh, of the products that we carry uh, at Ulysse Nardin. The idea is that we want to, let's say, promote what makes the uniqueness of the Maison. Uh, marine and Diver are carrying our uh, sporty uh, and sea, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, DNA. Uh, we, comes we come from the ocean. But uh, Freak and Blast are the, let's say, the windows for the technical ability that we have at the manufacturer to create. I mean, we are engine maker and uh, we are architects. And we have this possibility, even being still, uh, I mean, a, a little brand in terms of uh, production numbers to uh, design entirely the timepieces uh, uh, from scratch and bringing something that is unique. Uh, in terms of uh, shifts uh, for the production uh, of your timepieces, uh, should we expect anything uh, in the future, like in the next year? Well, 
Uh, we will continue with our, uh, let's say, uh, uh, way to do things, which is we are producing a little bit less than 10,000 units per year. We are bringing uh, around 10 novelties per year. And uh, we try to bring every year uh, caliber, uh, a new caliber, a caliber variation. So we will continue to, uh, let's say, surprise people with such type of uh, novelties. Any sneak peek uh, for the surprise uh, in 2024? <laughs> um, well, um, it will be again a freaky year, definitely. So you will see, in my opinion, uh, quite interesting proposal uh, in, this, uh, in this collection, in, con in continuation with what has been done uh, this year, in fact, with the introduction of the frequent. Okay, good luck with this. Thanks, thanks. <laughs>